disclaimer. The following video is part of a playthrough that contains these heavy topics. Viewing it is at your own risk, and with this, your discretion is advised. You already act like you have nothing to lose. You might very well do it. How rude! I haven't given up on everything yet. There are plenty of things still worth living for. Like cute enemy girls. <laughs> <laughs> and that amazing parfait at the cafe down the street. When I come back out, Makoto is just staring out in the distance, lost in thought. What are you up to? You know, existing. Sounds rough. Wait, all of Makoto's ways of expressing herself are typically those that VTubers also have. Hmm, I wonder. She also has the courage to put herself out there. And she... Uh, herself mentioned that videos are a way for people to express themselves. Could she be... No, the chances are pretty small. Statistically speaking, anyway. And I can't imagine someone who's as jaded as her would be one. But she told me that she'll be busy tonight. I don't want to seem like I'm being pushy. Hello, cats, and welcome to... VTuber Connect. A game about... A... A... A viewer of a VTuber who probably who meets a girl who's probably that VTuber. And it is so relatable somehow. She did also tell me that she'll message me on where to meet tomorrow. I, I at least go through the internet to bide my time until the start of Mana's stream. Maya is wash over the sea of posts about VTubers. Many of them are self-promotions by VTubers themselves. On upcoming streams and others are just memes about what might have happened in a stream this week. <sighs> milk. Don't question the milk. Don't question from where the milk comes from. Don't question what the milk is made from. It's milk. It's all you, it's all you get to know. <clears throat> I think back to what I talked about in my Kato today. I wonder how many of these VTubers are people that took the le leap to put themselves out there so that they can share what they love and express themselves. I wonder if it's probably me. Or maybe they were just looking to make a connection with people. And it's probably me too. I'm sure there are people who are riding the wave and are just doing it for fun. And I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that. There's also the people who just do the right the wave because of money. But even if you're just doing it for something as simple as having fun, there exists a connection between them and the community that isn't as simple. Yeah? I only thought about it from the viewer's perspective, but Makato is right. VTubers also form their own unique connection with their viewers that can be described as just a statistic. It would be nice if that's something that they could do with security and peace of mind. Talking with Makoto really put things into perspective. Theming and content creation in general isn't always going to be reliable. VTubers only recently exploded in popularity and we have no idea if that will still be the case a few years from now on from now you do that as your only source of income then treating it as a job might change your view of your pussy passion even if you're using it as a way to escape from reality then it's not like you're safe from those feelings okay i've seen plenty of people struggle with growth hi and once you've tied those feelings of success and failure to your passion then you might end up tired of pursuing it. Me sometimes. But then I rem remember, why am I doing this? And then I'm good again. There's likely a lot more things that I don't realize about VTubing. My thoughts are interrupted by the start of Mana's intro. Mana Mana! It's your shining star in the night sky, Mana Orion. Oh, nice name. How's everybody doing tonight? Good, alright, good, great. Bad? Well, you're in luck because I'm here now. You'll be having a good time in my stream and I won't be taking no for an answer. Okay, who's saying no? 
show yourself. Ah, oh, this is where everybody even tries to hide the one that said that old tale spam me with a smiley face. Looks like everybody is saying me. I might have to ban all of chat at this rate. But I'm merciful, so I'll let you guys go. I'll be playing the gutch discard gym that I recently picked up. It's called Ayan Nova. I heard a lot of good things about this game, but didn't really have the chance to play it much until the publishers contacted me for a sponsored stream. Oh. So I played it for a bit and started liking it a lot. Mostly because the character designs are so cute. Oh no, not another gacha game stream. How much is she going to spend this time? Guys, 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 stop saying oh no. I'm just trying to get one of the five stars. Just one, that's all. And I looked up the rates beforehand. The expected amount is about 10,000 yen for this particular one. Where have I seen this before? The last time she had a gacha stream, she got incredibly unlucky with the character she wanted and had to hit the pity or amount needed to guarantee the guarantee character. And I've heard that this particular game she's playing right now doesn't have a pity system. Ouch! Ah, the interest to this game is so cute. I've already played through all the tutorials and learned the basics, so I could get straight to the character pulling. Ah, because I know that's what you are all here for. It's so people are attracted to seeing other people gamble. Ha! Ah, that is why you get the gamble screen stream, the casino streams were there. Hmm. Uh, sounds high when you end in the uh, ice and nothing will happen, nothing will happen. I try it's just spamming pull when over and over. Alright, this should be where I can buy all the gems to pull. For I loaded in 10,000 yen worth of gems to summon. Mara starts humming to herself happily as she casually exchanges all of her in-game paid currency to summoning orbs in one set of clicks. Okay, let's go! Many Manaka chances the pitch of her voice up and down the playful manner. Let's go! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> so, I'm looking for Haruka-chan. I've already done my research. It seems like she's one of the best units, as well as being the cutest out of all these girls. Basically, what I'm saying is that we're meant to be, and if I don't get her, then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might have to take my anger out on you guys if that happens. Oh no, she's one of those. Okay, I'm starting now. The cursor have hovers over the 10 pull button, but Mana has yet to press it. It would be funny if I just dealt here. Oh, I'm sure everybody's waiting in anticipation for her to press the button and see what she gets. This is all, this is so like her to mess with everybody. Just wait. That's already spamming about being edged. My brain is just already corrupt, too much corrupted. I bet everybody has their eyes glued to the screen and is drooling all over the keyboards in anticipation. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Mana, Mana finally presses the button, and the screen transitions into a beautiful animation of a portal over appearing. The portal goes with a golden hue to indicate that she had gotten a 5 star. Mara starts screaming in the excitement at obtaining a 5 star in her first set of summons. Huh? Already? Aren't the chances like 2%? I can see that wave of steamer luck coming in. I did this. I had my own steamer luck once. And only once. See, guys? See, guys? This is what I mean. And I said Haruka-chan and I were meant to be. Stop saying pre-recorded stream, you guys are basically calling yourself chatbots. A man! Mana skips through her lower rarity characters until she gets to the golden glow, only to be met with a character distinct from the one she was aiming for. Ah, this is the wrong character! There are two five stars on this particular summon, and I got the wrong one. That's okay, your chan is also cute, and that was only the first set of summons, so that's still lucky. Let's keep going. When I quickly bar through the remainder of her summons, without any instances of a golden glow, she lets out an audible groan. She reaches the last of her summons. I went through I 80 without a single 5 star. Surely this will be the one. 
The portal closed with a golden hue as Mana uses the last of her pulse. Mana's model jerks up and she lets out a gasp. This is the one! Mana quickly skips through the uh, animations of the lower rarity characters until she is met with the golden animation. A familiar face pops out as Haruka once again awaits being summoned. No! Why? Haruka John, why? Mana turns into the next screen while talking. A golden glow appears with a new image. Ah! Haruka John! Mana rapidly starts clapping and drumming on the desk to express her excitement without damaging anything. Ah, you did love me after all. Come here. Mwah, mwah. The sounds of kissing that are uncomfortably close to a microphone can be heard through the stream. I chuckle at how Mana has made this pulling session out to be some sort of emotional journey for her. You really did, did come home after all. Time to drop every research I have into her. Mana definitely, definitely navigates through the array of menu options to reach the section to grow characters. There we go, and this too. There's something I want to mention since I've been seeing it come up when I was looking this game up. Please don't reveal shame. People value things differently and could have no problem spending money on something they enjoy because they think it's worth it. Someone consciously decides it's worth it to spend X amount of money for a Y percent chance to get something they want. And they're not compromising other things that they might are you more? Then that's completely fine. Don't shame them because they decided to spend a bunch of money on just a video game or anything similar. That's just being insensitive to our subjective experiences. It's okay to spend money on things we enjoy. I'm not trying to promote gacha addiction this stream through my own spending. I thought this was worth it for me to do as content and for my own enjoyment. Even if I didn't get what I want, I wouldn't have regretted it because I consciously decided it was worth it to spend this money on the chance I get what I want. Of course, people can get addicted and end up spending money that they otherwise think is better used on some other things, but they can't stop themselves. But we can't know for sure until we get a bigger picture. I don't see it in this community really, but I see it a lot elsewhere on the internet. Let's all try to be more mindful of others' experiences and values, okay? That was sudden, but not completely out of nowhere. I see it as well on the internet all the time. It's not just gacha games, but it applies, but it applies to a lot of other hobbies. I think most people would scoff at the amount of money I spend merchandise and donating, but it's what I enjoy. I don't regret it. Okay, all on. Let's use her in some missions now. After navigating through the menu options for the mission screen, the screen is soon filled with tiled spaces to reveal a turn-based grid system. Mm, that should be enough for the content that I can do right now, without refilling on energy. I think I'll move on to reading Super Chats and just hang out for a bit. Okay, first off is Manafan number 211 son. I love this game, I'm so glad you got sponsored. I'm looking forward to how you play. Aw, thank you. I hope you enjoy it. I know there's a lot of different approaches to reading donations, donation messages, especially depending on the streaming platform. Ah, but I'm surprised someone as big as Mana still reads out every single super chat. Hmm? It honestly seems like a ton of work, and I can see why VTubers wouldn't depending on their approach. But it really does help the community feel closer with her. The super chat reading continues on with Mana able to write active responses to any questions or inquiries that were thrown at her. Next we have Johnson 242 son. Mana, I wanted to send a super chat to tell you how much your stream mean to me. I'm going through a really rough time and you have been a light that shines through the darkness. You've saved me, I don't think I would still be around if it weren't for you, so thank you. Oh boy, it's one of these messages. I mean, I can understand why, where, the, where he's coming from. He probably thinks that they might be flattered in a way for being such an important part of his life. Or that his feelings are so strong that he can't control or contain it. 
but nobody wants to have to take that burden of being the only hope for someone. It's just too overbearing. Johnson-san, I'm really glad my dreams could be a place of solace for you. But that little bit of light is the only thing I can really provide. The only person that can save you is yourself. I don't have the power to save anybody. Heck, I don't even think I have the power to save myself. Oh. I really do hope you find the strength to turn things around. Uh, what did she mean by that? That's just as confused as I am. <laughs> don't worry about it, guys. I'm here to try and spread smiles as best I can, I can by sharing the things I love. We never know what anybody behind the screen might be going through. Yeah, that's, that's true. But I wish for this to continue being a place that everybody can come for, to, for comfort through whatever tough times you might be going through. That's just like Mana to say. She continues to be a pillar of support for so many people. That strength is what makes so many people look up to her. But I'm still wondering what she meant when she said that she doesn't have the power to save herself. Alright, next up is... When I continued to read through the super chats for about an hour until she finished with the last one. I think, I think that's the last one. I think I'm going to call it for tonight now. This was a fun stream, but I gotta get some things ready for some stuff tomorrow. Don't forget about my anniversary coming up. Oh yeah, Sumana. Bye bye. You can only save yourself, huh? I don't know if that's entirely true to my experience. I'm not a strong person. I wasn't able to save myself. I had to turn to VTubers for comfort. There's no way that Mana could feel as powerless as I do. I mean, look at how much influence she has and how many people love her. Something just came into my mind by reading this. Just because somebody has really much influence and be how many people love her. The person behind it, well... They're probably really struggling. And... Let me just say... I know that feeling. There, was, there were many times, even in streams that I didn't want to, where even I felt a little bit down. I like streaming because... I want to show not only everybody who already followed me, but also everybody who just comes by, just sees who is this the Armin, to see how I see the world, my point of view. And uh, yeah, there was always a bad day or bad days, not only for you, but also for me. And, yeah, the only thing I can really say also is, if you find my streams really comfort comforting, then that makes me happy. Because, hey, you feel, have, has this, you have this feeling of comfort in something that I like to do. Not for money, for fame, or something. Just because, hey, I like it. And, um... Little, little spoilers for the, the little series that I plan for my YouTube channel. This is one of the things that I will talk about. Just saying. How could she be someone who isn't strong enough to save herself? Well, in the back of my mind, I knew what it was that I was suddenly wishing for. Stop. There's no way I could ever be someone who could save someone like Mana. Maybe? Maybe not? That's just conceived and self-righteous. These are the kinds of thoughts that I wish I wouldn't have. Why am I such a hypocrite, wanting to be someone that can save others when I have nothing to offer? My thoughts are interrupted by the notification sound of my phone. Oh yeah, I forgot that M Makoto, M Makoto 
would message me. Didn't miss me too much, did ya? Oh, harsh. Is tomorrow at 2 p.m. fine with you? Yeah, that's okay. That's a classroom. There's a classroom, room 402, in the economics building. The West Wing of Campus at Numaz Numazu. That nobody ever checks. I usually hang out there by myself when I want to want a place to sit down and think. The door should be still be open for summer courses, but most people should be gone for the for break. That okay with you? Yeah. Alright, don't forget the manga volume M manga volumes or you will get it. Okay. You're right. Or else I've been letting my mood show over text. Just stupid mistake. Now I've got Makoto worrying about someone like me. Oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> nothing happened. I guess this is just... This just shows how little I text. How dumb of me. I got you shouldn't relate to what's your name, please. There's no response back. I sit in my chair, staring at my phone for a good minute. Suddenly my phone starts ringing. It's Makoto. Eh? I pause for a second to process what was happening. After realizing what was happening, I quickly answered the call so as to not make her wait. Makoto? Hey! Uh, what's up? Is there a reason you called? Oh, I just wanted to confirm something for tomorrow and figured it was easier to call. Sure, what is it? Um, well, first I want to ask, how was Mana's stream? Um... Well, it was great as always. She's as kind, funny, and strong as she always is. I see. There was nothing you found disappointing? Disappointing? Like what? I don't know. Anything, I guess. Not really. It's hard to imagine that I would end up being disappointed with her stream. I see. So, it wasn't my fault. Huh? What do you mean? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. So, what's been going on with you, besides the stream? I immediately recalled the thoughts I was having before being messaged by Makoto. There's no way I'm going to burden Makoto with something as insignificant as that. Her problems are not worth her concern or time. Nothing much, I was just feeling tired. Say, have you ever thought about how contradictory it is for people who are closer to... Relying on each other more? It doesn't really sound contradicting, contradictory to me. People are going to rely on each other more if they are closer, no? I don't mean it like that. I'm talking about how people who are closer tend to rely on each other more, uh, more but by relying on them, they're also placing some of their burden onto them. Which is the last thing someone would want to do to others they care about, no? Oh, that's why, what you mean. Yeah, that's true. By getting closer, you become more inclined to do something that you wouldn't want to do to someone you care about. It almost seems self-damaging. Yeah. The only person I can remember burning like that is my older sister. I care about her a lot and she's always checking up on me. But I ended up not being able to hide my emotion in her state too well in the past. And I ended up causing her to worry about me. Now she blames herself for not being able to help me. And I hate myself for that. Why am I telling her this? Just had a conversation about burdening others. And now I'm telling her about my problems? Technically, she was the one who asked. But I didn't have to give any details. That's weird. We ought to be at peace sharing this information with Makoto. Your sister sounds like a kind person. She really is, which is honestly all the more reason that I shouldn't be wasting her time and energy with my insignificant issues. Come on. I've told you this before. Your struggles still matter to you, don't they? Yeah, I remember. But I don't think it matters whether they're insignificant or not. I still won't want to burden her either way. I feel the same way. I've made the mistake of sharing my burdens with someone I cared deeply about in the past. Things changed for me and I just ended up causing them pain. My very existence became a source of resentment. 
But the sad part is that they did nothing wrong. And I don't blame them. It was just a natural feeling that came about. Ah. What hurt the most is that they still treated me with kindness. I wanted to keep associating with me afterwards. I couldn't bear to continue causing them pain. Makoto seemed like she wanted to continue but stopped herself. As it is, she has told me more about herself than she's ever done in our previous conversations. Sorry, I said too much. I didn't mean to bother you with that. That's alright. But doesn't that mean you care about me since you don't want to burden me with that? Yeah, good one. I can help but break a smile despite the tone of the conversation. Say, you wouldn't consider us close, would you? Um, Al, it's only been two days since we met and we haven't really talked too much. I think so too, so... I guess what I want to say is... If there's anything you want to talk about and you don't want to burden someone you're close with, I don't mind listening if it makes you feel better. I can't guarantee that I will have any answers though. It's a good point to say. Stop it. Stop it, really. Because I really feel now too, really. I am literally feeling like now I'm in this game because I'm really someone that is literally the. who's literally just there for people if they have some burdens. Like the personal problems or. Work related problems, doesn't matter really if it's a problem and you want to just have somebody to talk to, then I would be there. Which reminds me also again of this one person that I will not name. I offered them this thing, like I basically offered it to everybody, but yeah, the one time that I just basically did this. Uh, that I did this to them just done backfired is the reason why I don't name that person anymore or the others Bam. and if those people f somehow watch this and feel right now mentioned yeah I mean them I mean you and if you don't feel mentioned at all then it's okay it's okay so if you know, you know. If you don't know, it's better not to ask. You know, I think that may be the most unique way I've ever seen someone be thoughtful. Hey, I'm sorry for being weird. No, no, I'm actually really thankful. And if I find it kind of refreshing. Most people I know would have just told me to not hesitate to rely on them. And I wouldn't be able to tell if they are just trying to be nice or not. Well, maybe I'm just trying to be nice when I'm not. But thanks. The same goes for you. Though I'm open to listening to anything. Okay, get ready for my life story in 3, 2, 1. Wait, I think that's going a bit too fast. I hear Makoto give an audible laugh. Despite her pulling the phone away from her face. Maybe you'll get my life story at a higher bond level. I don't think I want to know what bond level you're going to require from me, of me to get that. Don't worry, there's always the pay to win option. Yeah, yeah, something, something, gotcha is evil, something, something, your John wasn't going to wait for her next panel. Looks like you already know my life story. That's how your life, you're defining your life. You hear another series of muffled loss going from the other end of the line. No, but really things. It's kind of weird, I wouldn't usually share anything about my past or want to burden anybody. But there was a bit of comfort in sharing that part about my past I mentioned earlier, even if it was really vague. I felt the same way. Maybe it's because we both know that we don't want to burden others. You're saying it about that mutual understanding, maybe? Yeah, maybe, who knows. But thanks, I'm feeling a lot better now. Oh, so you really were bothered by something? Uh, uh, no, I'm just feeling a little uh, tired, is all. I sure wish I could say the same about my own fatigue. Hey, you're welcome. I really didn't do anything, though. 
I don't even know what you're going through, and even if I did, I don't think I would have the strength to help you. That reminds me of what Ma said, that she doesn't have the strength to save anyone, even herself. Was that actually Mana saying that? What do you mean? Nothing. That was definitely something. It's getting kind of late, so let's talk some more tomorrow. I'll make sure to bring your postcard. Oh yeah, I almost forgot about it. Sure, thanks. Oh yeah, you called because you mentioned you wanted to confirm something for tomorrow. What was it? Oh, Dad! Are you fine with the agreed upon meeting time and place? Yeah. Cool, see you tomorrow then. Wait, that's it? Yeah, something's wrong. Something wrong? I mean, it's not that there's anything wrong. You know, you know what? Never mind. I think I get it. I shouldn't really waste her consideration. Oh yeah, I also wanted to apologize to her. Oh, one more thing before you go. I want to apologize in case I said anything out of line before you left earlier. Oh, don't worry, you didn't say anything out of line. Not anything wrong with you, it's just me. Night. Before I can say anything, I hear the sound of the call hanging up. I get up from my chair and drag myself to my bed. There at the ceiling of my room, blankly tracking in the monochromic view. The first glance of Makoto's personal experiences waited on my mind. So Makoto ended up becoming a source of resentment from people that she cared about, and those people still wished to associate with her despite that resentment. That doesn't sound right. Why would you want to keep associating with someone that you resent? And I wonder what happened afterwards. If Makoto thought she was causing them pain just by existing, then what would she do? I don't really want to think about that. She felt like her actions caused pain to the people that she cared about. And I can't imagine that feeling too great for her either. I wonder if she hates herself because of it. Every glimpse I get into Makoto's thoughts, the more confused I get. Welcome to human biology. Or psychology. Let's just go to sleep for tomorrow. Yeah. Hold up, I know this background. So, uh, save game. Because I think it's a good thing to know in this.